Hey, happy Fox users. Today we're going to learn how to set up notifications, which are just customizable templates that automatically fill similar to an email signature. However, these are much more flexible than an email signature. So you could use these templates to customize an auto response whenever your customer submits a new ticket or you have a special reply template that pertains to a particular department, etc. Uh, and also these notifications are going to be specific to categories as well. And, and I'll show you what I mean here. So first, let me show you what a template looks like and how to ma navigate to your uh, Manage Notifications Center. So you just simply click on Tab, click on the sub-tab Notifications right under it, and it's going to bring you to the Notification Center. Now, also notice you have contact notifications, staff notifications, system notifications, and you can check out all these type of notifications the templates all work the same, um, but I just want to focus today on how to create the template, the, and we'll use the autoresponder template as an example, and then the reply template as an example. So now let's look at what does a template look like. All I got to do is click on this template name here, and you can see that all we have is default templates set up, and to show you what it looks like, I'm just going to click on Edit. And this is what your template looks like. So you have the template name, and then you have what the template is going to look like once it's sent out in an email. So for example, let's say let's say a customer sends an email and Happy Fox turns it into a ticket. Before I respond to before I respond to this ticket, that customer is going to get an auto response, right? So this customer sent me a ticket and it says, hello, I have a question about my account. Well, they're going to get their auto response, which is based on this auto response template here, which looks like this in the background. And notice you have these little tags here. So this is where the power of the notification comes in. So you could just enter in these tags. Happy Fox will pull the information automatically and therefore you don't have to type these kinds of things in manually. So for example, briefly, let me show you how to insert a new tag. Let's say like we want um, some more information on this subject line here. I'm just going to click insert a new tag and I'll enter the priority of my customer's ticket in the subject line. So you just all you have to do is check on which boxes or which tag you want to submit. You could click on which contacts and ticket fields you want to apply as well. And notice this priority tag has been inserted into my ticket. So this information will pop up when my customer gets the auto response. So for example, where is, let's see, my mail. So for example, this is the auto response that came from the ticket that I just showed you. And you have the ticket created, and then you have the ticket ID, and you have dear client name tag. In this case, I'm my own customer. So it says, Dear Jonathan Langan, your ticket ID, what this tag is, this, and sincerely admin. And it's going to enter the category that this notification pertains to. And you can enter your email signature here with these different tags the priority and category of the ticket here. And notice you have to type in priority, for example, if that's what you want to show, you have to type in the priority, colon, and then it'll pull the priority from the Happy Fox ticket automatically. So anyways, this is all automatic response, but you can see that it's pretty basic. I want to customize this for my company or for the department that the reply is coming to or from, I'm sorry, so on and so forth. So how do we do that? It's really simple. In this case, we're just going to add a new template and let's, let's, let's work on our reply template actually, forgive me. So that was our auto response template that you can customize here. Now we're gonna work on our reply template. So our customer is gonna get the auto response. We're gonna reply to the ticket in Happy Fox and they're going to get a different kind of template that comes. When I click Add Update, all I have to do is enter my response. But when the 
response comes to the customer, there's going to be a lot more information with my company, logo, so on and so forth. So back to our rep reply template, we're going to customize one. And we have one customized already. I'm going to show you that example, but I just want to show you how to create one really fast. So you have the option of here of adding a new template or say you like a template that you already have built or you like the basic default template, you can clone this template here. And it's going to enter this information, but we want to uh, spice it up a little bit, okay? So again, let's insert a tag into the subject line. It's going to show our customer what the priority of their ticket is. I'll insert this. Um, I want to enter, let's say for example, I want to enter my company logo. I would have to enter the HTML tag in here, click update. It'll show your company logo down here. And you could type any kinds of response or signatures that you want. In this case, it's going to pull Whoever's responding to this ticket is going to pull the staff name, it's going to pull their signature, and then you're going to have the ticket ID, so on and so forth, as you saw in the other example. So once you fill out and insert all these tags, you're going to have a nice customized reply. So when you do reply to your customer, it's going to show up something like this. So you have your response, you could change the color, it's all rich text enabled, as you can see here. You can add a picture of yourself, any kind of quote or company signature that you guys use. You add your company logo in there. And it's as simple as that. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out and contact us. We'd be happy to chat with you about it. Thanks for using Happy Fonts.